why the bedrooms are back there? That depends. I don't understand. Their, their existence is conditional? <laughs> no, but your ability to perceive their existence is conditional on you passing the second and third barriers. There's three? Each more daunting than the last. <laughs> Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> no, that's where I sit. What's the difference? This seat is ideally located, both in relation to the heat source in the winter and a cross breeze in the summer. It also faces the television at a direct angle, allowing me to immerse myself in entertainment or gameplay without being subjected to conversation. As a result, I've placed it in a state of eternal dibs. Can you do that? Cathedra mea reguli mei. That's Latin for my chair, my rules. Now, you said on the phone that your area of study is physics. Uh, yeah, experimental physics. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? Doesn't concern you. <clears throat> you'll be going to the university every day? Uh, yes. And you have a vehicle? A car, yeah. And you'd be willing to drive me? Well, can't you drive? I can. <laughs> I choose not to. Okay, uh, I suppose I could drive you. Well, that's a point in my favor, right? Why don't you let me do this? <laughs> Come on, I, I just asked. <laughs> Last question. In a post-apocalyptic world, which task would you assign the highest priority? Locating a sustainable food source, reestablishing a functioning government, procreating, or preserving the knowledge of mankind? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, preserving the knowledge. That's correct. <laughs> FYI, I would have accepted any answer other than procreating. <laughs> Come, I'll show you the rest of the apartment. Oh, good. I passed the barriers. <laughs> the second barrier. Don't get cocky. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Are you fairly regular? Uh, I guess. This isn't going to work if you're guessing. <clears throat> when do you evacuate your bowels? When I have to. When you have to? I'm sorry, I don't rent to hippies. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, um, in the morning, around 8. I can't give you 8, I can give you 7.30. <laughs> Fine, I'll take it. Third barrier passed. <laughs> you have won the right to see your room. Huzzah. <laughs> Is this it? No, this is my room. People don't go in my room. So where do you sleep? <laughs> I don't understand. And, uh, if people don't go in there and you're people, you are people, aren't you? <laughs> Making a joke. Do you do this often? <laughs> On occasion. <laughs> Your room. You may want to repaint. Okay, and after all that, you just moved in? No, well, I didn't just move in. First, we had to iron out a few details. Roommates agree that Friday nights shall be reserved for watching Joss Whedon's brilliant new series, Firefly. Does that really need to be in the agreement? We might as well settle it now. It's going to be on for years. <laughs> Initial here. All right, that's television and movies. Um, section nine, miscellany. <clears throat> the apartment's flag is a gold lion rampant on a field of azure. We have a flag? <laughs> Never fly it upside down. Unless the apartment's in distress. <laughs> and next, if either of us ever invents time travel, we agree our first stop will be this meeting today in precisely five seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's disappointing.